So, all right, guys, welcome to another AAA AMA. And today we've got a special guest, uh, Backbone Labs, that's here, that's going to come and talk about their project. So basically, uh, as I said, we're going to start with uh, um, the CyberWawa updates, StoryPunk updates, uh, MetaWawa updates. And uh, after that, we'll uh, move over to a Backbone Lab so they can talk to us about their project and the liquid staking derivatives. And I think they also have relations with NFTs as well. So we'll get to know all that. and. Um, and uh, we'll end with uh, the the current event that's going on with the quantum market. That uh, we're winning the polls for the airdrop. Uh, there's also clan wars going on right now. Where if you guys participate in the crew three over there, uh, there could be some rewards coming to the holders. So we'll go over all of that stuff uh, today. So first things first, for the people that don't know who we are, basically a AAA is a validator on territory and on the Chihuahua chain. So uh, obviously, if you guys uh, delegate to us, uh, this is what makes uh, this whole thing sustainable for us. So uh, delegations are always uh, greatly appreciated. Um, a few things that we've been working on uh, lately. So the dev team is working hard right now with uh, the Tory Punk apps. Uh, they we're actually working also on an ownership bot for the NFTs. And actually, that's being tested right now. So basically, uh, they're working on an ownership bot that's going to be for Stars, Juno, and Tory. So we'll be able to gate uh, all the channels uh, in the server for, for all of the collections. So the, that's pretty cool. And it's coming, should be coming by the end of the month. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated concerning that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. So that we'll have some more structure inside of the Discord. And uh, obviously, everybody's going to have the, the proper roles associated to them. So um, first things first, let's go with the, the Cyber Wawas. So currently, the Cyber Wawa original collection uh, sitting at 21.5k floor price today the lottery which i'm gonna do live at the end of the ama is the so the winner of the the premium lottery is going to get 1.1 million wawas approximately so uh, that's pretty cool for the the premium winner and uh, now for the cyber wawa zombies the floor price currently sits at 2.9k um stars for the regular zombies and if uh, you want to get a, a rare zombie the floor price currently sits at 40k stars and uh, for today for the zombie lottery which we're gonna uh, do live at the end it's going to be approximately 3600 tories uh, that's going to go to the winner so right now with uh, the the tory uh, price action uh, the cyber wawas are have a pretty good deal for the zombies especially for the regular ones so if you guys are trying to look where they are well they're on the stargaze marketplace and uh, the Cyber Wawas is a 49-piece collection, and uh, the Cyber Wawas Zombies is a 200-piece collection. And within that 200-piece collection, there's 20 of them that are really rare because they let you participate in both the premium and the zombie lottery. The, those, uh, there's only 20 of them, so uh, you guys can find them on Stargaze if you guys want to go see those collections uh, specifically. So now, uh, let's move over to the Tory Punks. So guys, uh, uh, the Tory Punks, as you know, we started the early Punks game already. So now we're we're approaching the next snapshot, which is going to be on April uh, 7th. So uh, make sure to have all your comic books with your Tory Punk in your wallet. We took the first snapshot already, which we listed the, the list in the announcements. So if you guys uh, still hold your comics uh, to the next um, snapshot, which is April 7th, well, then we're going to do the distribution of the staking rewards to the holders. So that's the first step for the early punks game. Um, there's also a first version of the Tory Punk uh, apps that have been uh, uh, teased and um, inside of the Discord and on uh, Twitter from uh, Orange. So um, you guys know more or less what the game is going to look like. And uh, right now we're at the, the testing phase for that. So uh, everything seems to be on track for uh, the, the launch of the Russian roulette, which is going to be on the, the 15th. And guys, with the with the start of all these games, we're going to be removing the restake on the wallets so that we could distribute the rewards. And uh, I think right now we maximize the the, the restaking function and the rewards uh, to the max by uh, dragging it on all the way till now. So uh, the rewards are, are, are going up. And uh, as soon as the price action returns, obviously the rewards are going to be much uh, higher in USD value. So uh, that's what's uh, coming up for the Tory Punks. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what the game testing them out. And uh, don't forget, guys, for the Russian roulette, um, basically, you're, there's going to be 5,000 ticket sales at the beginning of the of the of the Russian roulette game. After uh, the the sale of the tickets, um, 
So basically, there's only half of them that are going to be winners. So there's going to be 2,500 winners that are going to split the staking rewards for the Russian roulette. So now, guys, if you go on the Tory Punk section, where there's the uh, information section, we got a bunch of Medium articles there. Uh, we got our wallets for transparency. So you guys could go see uh, pretty much how the game works. And uh, we have a full list. I've also been preparing a few Medium articles uh, for the Tory Punk. So basically, an updated version of uh, a medium article for the Tory Punks, which I'm going to be releasing uh, early April, right before the distribution of the early Punks game. So uh, we're going to have a, a, an updated uh, medium article with everything inside, and uh, we'll, people will be able to, to have a direct look at it with uh, all the updated uh, information, uh, the new games, uh, the dates, and uh, how they're going to function. So that's for uh, the Tory Punks. Uh, now I'm going to leave the floor to uh, Superman to talk about uh, the Metawawas and uh, a few updates about them. Superman, the floor is yours. All right. Thank you, Gigi. So, guys, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, the Mint uh, went up uh, quite substantially. So uh, the reason for that is uh, we uh, finally got the funds from the Wawa Punks Mint. So we minted uh, the Metawawas. So we went from about 63%. We went all the way up to 71%. So we got a nice little 8% boost on the mint. If you guys were wondering why that happened, well, this is why. Uh, we finally got the, the proceeds from the Wawa Punks. Now, uh, the next phase is uh, we're still waiting for uh, beta testing updates from the Passage team. Uh, I haven't received them yet. Uh, I don't blame them. They've been uh, quite busy in the past couple of weeks. Uh, they've released uh, quite a bit of alpha. If you guys go in the AMA questions uh, section, I posted a few links. So uh, they've been busy, first of all, with uh, the Heaven experience with Royce the 59 So they're doing a, they're doing a concert event uh, slash uh, private interviews, uh, a whole bunch of stuff uh, basically on that uh, platform. If you guys haven't joined the waitlist, you guys could go join it. I posted the link as well. Uh, I mean, uh, even uh, Shady Records... Uh, Hosted uh, this event. I mean, uh, it's getting a, uh, it's making a lot of noise, getting a lot of attention. Uh, I mean, it's uh, just great news for the Passage team. Uh, also, they just uh, recently they went to the GDC uh, gaming conference. It finished, I believe, yesterday. Uh, this is where they showcased uh, the trailer for the Strange Clan game. If you guys haven't seen it, again, I posted in the link. Uh, it's pretty awesome what they're doing. Uh, the game's expected uh, to be launching in 2025. Uh, the news that kind of shocked me a bit is that they'll actually be uh, on Xbox and PlayStation as well as PC. So, I mean, uh, Passage has been really busy. Uh, they released a lot of alpha as of late. So uh, we'll stay patient and we'll wait until uh, they give us some updates for uh, the beta testing. So that's what we have to look forward to. So uh, in the meantime, uh, while we wait, uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, our MetaWawa DAO wallets, they're growing uh, quite substantially. Uh, remember, we got the first round of proceeds and we've been staking them on Stake Labs. Uh, we got them in Atom. So the wallets are growing in Atom if you guys want. You guys also, I posted the link there. You guys could keep track of uh, the breakdown of the wallets. I'll give it to you right away for those uh, that are listening. So the Marketing and Communications wallet has 497 Atoms. The Metaverse Improvement wallet has 497 Atoms. Then we have the Lottery wallet that has 664 Atoms and the Passage Buyback Wallet that has a whopping 829 atoms. And let's not forget, our MetaWawa DAO has a bunch of NFTs inside, and we still have the Strange Clan NFT giveaway for those that mint more than 12 MetaWawas. Every additional MetaWawa is, a, is an additional ticket to the draw for the Strange Clan. We'll be doing the draw uh, once the collection is sold out. So... Uh, that sums it up pretty much for the Metawawa. There's not uh, much news. So uh, I think, uh, Gigi, I'll let you uh, introduce our guest. Yeah, thank you, uh, Superman. Yeah, guys, uh, also uh, for uh, information, uh, if you go on the left-hand side, all of our collections have an information section with a Medium article, the wallets for uh, transparency. So if you guys are wondering uh, how you guys can go see the wallets and all that, well, they're all on uh, the left-hand side. So now with that said, uh, we'll introduce our, our, our guest, uh, JGNFT. So uh, how's it going, man? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's going really good. You know, uh, the markets are crazy, but uh, we don't care. Uh, to us, it means nothing. We believe in the technology. So 
like really price means nothing to us in these next you know 90 days to six months it means nothing right like we all know it's going to be crazy so let's talk about what backbone labs is backbone labs is a project that has decided to try to fuse DeFi and nfts to the ultimate level uh, we created a DeFi protocol called the gravedigger which is an lsd that's a liquid staking derivative this is an auto compounding token that we give you a receipt of and the purpose of this token is to unlock DeFi and DeFi strategies it's over collateralized so if you were to borrow against it there's a little bit of padding in the liquidation side that's that is really what it's for right so we took this piece of the DeFi puzzle of the game the collateral piece and we decided to say okay instead of issuing a bunch of ponzi token like governance tokens why don't we pair it with nft communities we'll give them on-chain voting we'll give them revenue sharing essentially your nft is now a yield bearing asset it's like bitcoin it's finite it's not going to be inflated forever we think that this model will get good engagement it'll it kind of gamifies DeFi to another level and personally i'm I, I'm all about utility when it comes to JPEGs and my NFTs. Like I want utility. For me, it's like, what special privilege does this get me? What does this token earn me? How what can I do with this thing? Like, how is this thing helping me? That's how I think about NFTs. Now I know a lot of people think about them in terms of art or in terms of like there's just I mean, there's so many venues, but for me, I'm all about utility. So what we did with the skeleton punks uh you know i was a part of that team before it crashed there was a lot of drama we raised it it died we raised it again it died so with the skeleton punks was our first model with the grave digger so we paired it with the community that we loved and it's successful so our test over there you know luna has been through the ringer but after the crash you know, the Skeleton Punks are the number one collection on Luna. We're about to crack 100,000 in sales volume since we relaunched in, I think it was August, the end of August, like August 25th or something like that. So the model is proving to work. People want NFTs with utility. And so now we have this opportunity. We partnered with White Whale. White Whale is doing amazing things trying to uh, solve the liquidity fracturing crisis uh in the well kind of everywhere right as crypto continues to develop and get more advanced more projects will require more liquidity it'll continue to fracture so there's only two models that you can really look at you look at osmosis's model which is a centralized model where all these things are plugging into it or you look at white whales model which is having hubs all over which are able to then push liquidity wherever needed when needed i like the white whale model better right so we are now following white whale um with their hubs because we want to ensure with backbone labs we want to ensure that l1s retain their chain identity right we have projects like stride and prism they're going to make lsds they're going to take the token and they're going to do something else with it and the l1 will lose that value metric right as soon as your token leaves it's no longer about chihuahua it's about prism or stride or whatever else right so we're dedicated to giving the L1's culture and DeFi that is committed to protecting the chain. So now what, the phase that we're in, we've launched a Grave Digger on Luna. We've launched one on Whale. We've now launched one on Chihuahua. And we've launched one on Juno. We're about to launch one on Injective, Comdex, Say, Archway, and I believe this new neutron or new i don't even know honestly white whales team moves so fast that we're having a hard time keeping up a little bit like they're a much bigger team than we are but so now we're in the phase of like having to uh, what because what i want to do is my vision for backbone labs is that it becomes like a like a hub of cross pollinization of like interchain activity like imagine that there's 10 grave diggers all on the different chains and there's 10 new nft collections all managing those grave diggers, right? We're about to open a marketplace. Uh, it's going to be very basic at first in a couple of weeks to, to service some secondary sales for Luna. And what we want to do is we think, okay, well, if we have these 10 managing collections, managing these grave diggers and their sell, we won't even, we're not even going to charge marketplace fees because we, we want to have partners and it'll just be the royalty. So we think that we can get a convergence 
of a lot of like cross chain activity, like cross pollinization. And so now we want to make partnerships with like projects, big projects who understand that they want to have diverse diversity inside of their um, uh, brand, right? So let me, let's just look, one of the biggest projects, we're just going to use like these idiots like Utes or D-God, right? These guys got so much attention for some reason, they don't do anything. But imagine we get some of these guys to cross pollinate into these other things. They launch sub collections. Like this gives a great opportunity for us. We can provide so much on-chain utility for an NFT collection that we can solve that problem, right? So now we're looking for about 10 partners to make Gravedigger collections that will manage. We have a partnership with uh, Enterprise DAO and we can use their technology for the on-chain voting, for the revenue sharing, the whole nine. We have a really cool thing that's kind of come out of nothing. We built Backbone Labs out of nothing. It only cost $120 and a lot of friendships and partnerships and time, but out of pocket, we did this with nothing, right? All these other groups, all these other liquid staking derivatives, you got Stride, you got Eris, you got Prism. All these guys had big, big funding. We were just a bunch of broke NFT dudes after the crash who like loved our community and said, nah, you know what? We're gonna try to do this differently. So we made our own B token. We now have partnerships with Capapult, which is a stable coin maker. You can now leverage against your B Luna. You soon will be hopefully leverage against B Whale, hopefully against B Chihuahua, hopefully against all of these B assets, whatever your asset is, I'm hoping that you'll be able to not have to sell it anymore when like an economic opportunity arises. What you'll do is you'll get a B asset, you'll place it in like Cavern or, or Capapult, you'll borrow against it, you'll take advantage of said op economic opportunity, and then you'll sell under profit. This is what rich people do. They get loans on stuff that they own, they don't sell their stuff, and then they take advantage of it. They only buy assets that are paying yield, and then they use those assets to pay off the loan. So I'm just trying to do and open up these doors that, uh, like this is like economic superpowers essentially, right? Like if you don't have to sell your asset to get money out on your asset, you're winning. So this is what we're trying to do everywhere. And we're trying to pair it with NFT communities. And we know there's gonna be like this huge re-education phase. And so to me, the best way to do it is to harness this type of energy because look, look, look who's really here after all the, the turmoil. I mean, it's the, it's, it's the DGENs, right? So if we can now re-educate the DGENs on a better way to learn, it doesn't have to just be like speculating about NFTs. You can like now buy NFTs that are actually gonna pay you yield. And we're not, we don't do Ponzi tokens, right? We don't have a state, but we don't have a governance token. The NFT is the governance token. So we're only revenue sharing from actual uh, rev, like yield that the grave digger is producing, right? And so on the Luna model, because it was like, you know, a rescue mission, we, it's a community good. It's a 100% pass through, right? We, the Backbone Labs doesn't take anything. On the other chains that we go to, because we're expanding so fast, we take only a 1% fee of the auto compound. Stride takes 10%. We take 1%. We actually do take 10%, but we redistribute 90% back to the community that's participating. So 70% goes to the people who will provide uh, LP uh, on white whale um, because that is the weak point in a liquid staking derivative. The whole point is, is can you trade in and out of it without a problem? If, if at any point the pool dries up, then it's no longer liquid. It's no longer a liquid staking derivative. You just have to unstake it. It's like regular staking. It's fucking pointless. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's actually regular staking that you're paying a performance fee for. So we have to make sure that these pools have liquidity. So what we do is we take 70% of that fee and we reward the people who put liquidity there. The other 20% is gonna reward a small NFT community who manages it and understands it and will have claiming and on-chain voting and props and the whole nine. It's pretty sweet actually. The, the, so, the full model will be complete at the end of the month, like for Luna, so people can see it. So right now the, the, the NFT collection that uh, reflects this model is the skeleton punks, correct? Yes, that's a, that is the one almost complete mo version of the system that we have in place. And by any chance, uh, could you po post some links inside of the general, like uh, maybe your Discord, some uh, some Medium articles that people can check? Because you've uh, definitely piqued my uh, curiosity, and you seem very yes. passionate about what you're doing. And uh, yeah, I, we have yeah we have a new Medium article. Let me get that for you. 
Okay. Yeah, though, feel free to post it in the general, even your Discord, if you have a Discord uh, yeah, channel, okay. post it there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure people are right. going to want to join and get to know more, right? Uh, yeah, I'll definitely do that. And just give me a second. I'll do that in a second. Is there? Do you guys have any questions about this? Because uh, you know, I, I look. I'm not the you know the moon math guy, right? That's not my thing, right? I'm I'm really more like an NFT degen who who kind of fell in love with like uh, IBC DeFi before the crash, you know, like when the last like you know two years kind yeah. of. And mm -hmm. so I'm trying to recreate that type of vibe. Like when I came over from uh, you know EVM stuff, like about two years ago now, like. You know, I was so leery about every community that I entered. I was like, fuck, everyone's trying to scam me, like literally, right? And then I get to IBC and it's like, it was like a whole different vibe. Like everyone was like trying to like help you and like explain shit. And like, they're, <laughs> then they're like, wow, look at all these great strategies, like these Delta neutral, these mirror protocols, the blah, 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 right? And then like, I, you know, obviously, I mean, I use the shit out of Anchor. I made... Let's see. I took like I took like six thousand dollars or like eight thousand dollars, and I turned it into almost a hundred thousand dollars, and then lost almost all of it again. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people did. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. what I want to do is I want to give us that that power back again, and so I think it's really interesting to give that power to the people that you know are going to be the most dedicated to actual participation. Because these dudes are participating now, that means that they're super participating in good times, and that means they understand that shit's that like, what it is right now, right? Like, so you don't have to like sugarcoat it. You know what I mean? You can be like, look, shit's shit's rough right now, but we're building infrastructure that you can revenue share on. And so when shit gets good again, if you didn't paper hand all the, the the stuff that you were basically mining right from your JPEG, then you got money. <laughs> And honestly, you know, uh, you know, it sounds amazing. And in terms of uh, NFT collections that you're looking for, uh, do you have anybody in mind already, or you're still uh, at the the searching phase uh, for partners? No, we're or... still like, look, we're totally in the searching phase. So, like, it, uh, I'm going to be honest. You know, you, I mean, you guys know crypto moves so fast, right? So, like, the plans that like you think are 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 what you want to do like a week ago are are different today because like opportunities are just changed so dramatically. I've had so many doors open up. Like I'm not gonna lie, White Whale opened up a lot of doors very quickly for us, right? We were one chain to try to figure out how to expand what we were gonna do. White Whale contacted us. They said, we love your model, let's push it. I'm like, really? They're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, we'll try to keep up with you. You know what I mean? So like that was super unexpected. We're really grateful. We think White Whale is actually going to bring a lot of value to the IBC, right? Because Right now you have Beach Chihuahua that we're making. Pretty soon White Whale is going to whitelist your Beach Chihuahua. You're gonna be able to take B, B Huawa, right? Stake it at White Whale and earn whale with your Huawa. And and I think vice versa. I think I think Chihuahua is gonna do the same deal with whale. So there's gonna be these inherent utilities that are happening through through whale and they're gonna be connecting the IBC. They've, they've agreed to make um, pools so on Migaloo, there's going to be a pool, a B Chihuahua, B Whale pool that will be incentivized for you guys to put LP with. You know what I mean? Like they're going to make a lot of things possible for all the chains that they partner with. I'm really excited about them. Honestly, uh, it's uh, very impressive. Uh, it's uh, I feel the passion in what you're saying. And uh, personally, I, I'm, uh, you really piqued my curiosity. So I'm really going to deep dive into the... The Luna again. Ever since the crash, I got a bit away from it. I had a bunch of NFTs on the Luna. I had the Levanas. Uh, I had a bunch of them, so I lost a lot of them. Uh, some of them transferred to Juno. Some of them uh, transferred on other, on other chains, the Polygon. Uh, let's say so. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a look at those. Uh, if you can post those links in the general, that'd be really cool. I will. And guys, if you have any questions for uh, the speaker or uh, ourselves for the MetaWawa collection. <clears throat> Or punks, whatever, feel free to raise your hand, or you guys can post them in the um, AMA question section chat. So, so I have a question for you. You asked a question yeah. about projects, right? And so the phase that we're in right now is we're just starting to ask who's interested. Like, okay, because the what I was trying to get to before is maybe I, I'm looking for feedback as well. Like, what do you think the best thing for Chihuahua's grave digger is, or the other grave diggers? Do we want to get fresh blood into the, a, a Chihuahua grave digger? Or do we like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to go fishing into other communities and get those communities to say, yeah, we want to, this is a good match for us. I want them to whitelist 
their community into this community, to the Chihuahua community, right? So would the AAA group be more fitted to try to do one on a different chain? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to expand everybody's brandship a little bit. Yeah, well, uh, you see, our, ourselves, we're, we're, a, we're a pretty good team. Own. I'm not actually the founder of the, the project. The founder is yeah. uh, Anch and uh, Cryptulian, and they're actually from France. And uh, we actually met because uh, they speak mostly French. And yeah. I sort of became a translator uh, because I live in Quebec. Yeah. So I speak French and English uh, fluently. <laughs> and that's how I right. became. But uh, for <laughs> sure, now that uh, they're going to listen into your video, uh, they're going to uh, watch your articles you're going to post. We're definitely going to talk about it. But uh, yeah, because we actually, uh, something that we haven't spoke about much and I haven't announced it yet, but the AAA is looking into create their own uh, a blockchain. Uh, oh, wow. So, Right now, I'm I'm not giving too much information about it because we're still at the reflection stage. We're putting stuff on paper, so uh, you know I didn't want to go there right now, and I'm not going to make any promises either about it. So, uh, yeah, so it's all stuff that we're going to have to talk about internally. But uh, uh, you you clearly uh, piqued my curiosity, and I think a few of the members in, on the stage uh, are also uh, curious about what you guys are doing. But yeah, I think it's There's a great idea because NFT community is, is really medium. strong. And, yeah, I posted the medium article. Uh, in the Discord, and this link. No time limit. Well, guys, in the meantime, if you have uh, some questions, you guys could go in the uh, AMA questions, ask your questions there. Uh, that's it. Or in the general chat, I'll be looking at both channels. <clears throat> so we, we post the links. Um... So oh, yes, guys, uh, like I said, the Anchi has teased uh, inside of the Discord uh, this week that uh, AAA is uh, possibly working on a, their own blockchain. And basically, guys, uh, the, the the main guiding stones for or the blockchain will be community, transparency, and utility. Those are the main uh, things we want, and uh, we're not looking at creating a token either. So uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, that, that we're still discussing internally, and uh, once we get some more information, we're obviously going to share with the community. But uh, yeah, we're not going to make any promises ahead of time. So uh, whenever we're ready or we're, we're ready to, to submit something, we'll, we'll let you guys know. Um, so you say uh, you're going to make a chain without a token. How are you going to do that? Well, that's it. I'm not a dev. I'm not the, 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 <laughs> the guy working in the back. So I, I, I would like to explain it all to you. But uh, yeah, no, there's no tokens. I, I'm already seeing the airdrops and stuff. Uh, messages. Well, guys, the, main, so. <laughs> the main idea is that basically Adam is king, right? So. The atom is the token we want to use uh, for for the the chain, but uh, again, ah, uh, okay, okay. So there is a token. I understand. Then I understand. There is a token, but it's okay. basically we want to you give utility to the atom token itself, uh, and give uh, basically some tools for the community inside of Cosmos uh, to be able to pay a small fee, but to get a good tool that they can actually. Because a lot of the tools right now on Cosmos they're free, uh, they're not great. Uh, I'm just giving examples. Let's say. Uh, uh, tax files, you know, everybody's doing this stuff for free, Tori Live, uh, Hubble Tools. So they're, they're just expecting donations and the, the products are not 100%. They don't work uh, uh, very well or very efficiently. So uh, we're looking at a bunch of stuff and we actually have a bunch of questionnaires that uh, Tertullian has posted in the announcement, guys. And we would really like your feedback on those because uh, we're asking the community how uh, they interact with Cosmos, what are the stuff they would like to see. And a bunch of stuff like that. So if you guys fill it up, uh, the questionnaires, and give your feedback, uh, it's uh, greatly appreciated because we want to use uh, your guys' information to to move forward with uh, all our NFT communities and uh, inside of the Cosmos. So if you guys can go fill those up, there's actually some rewards associated to them if you guys do it. So uh, if you go inside of uh, the announcements, uh, the questionnaires are all there. So we'd really appreciate your feedback. And uh, yeah. So in terms of questions, I don't think we woohoo airdrop, no. no there's uh, no questions, guys. So uh, do you have any th closing statements uh, you'd like to uh, give to the community, uh, JG? Um, let's see, closing statements? Um, not, not really, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody here probably, you know, follows all these projects pretty well, you know. I'm I'm sure yeah. that they actually are pretty well informed. That's why there's no questions. Only the troopers are left. Uh you know what I mean? You know, the real ones. Bear market is hard on everybody, guys. The price action is not fun and uh these bear markets tend to last uh, a bit longer than expected. So uh 
Guys, all we can say, I've, I've been there before. Uh, it is long the bear market. It really works on your mental. And uh, guys, just know that a lot of these projects are undervalued at the moment. Uh, obviously, all of this is not financial advice. But uh, eventually, guys, we're going to get out of this. Uh, the interest rates, uh, they're still uh, going up right now with the Fed. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on with the banks, uh, bank runs and stuff like that. So, guys, it's it's not fun out there right now. But the people that are left, guys, this is where you guys can learn on new, uh, new strategies, uh, new projects like uh, Backbone Labs. And this is the time to do research and find some projects and some altcoins you, you guys can invest in. And hopefully, uh, it'll, pay, uh, it'll pay off in uh, the bull run. So, you know uh, what? I do got to say something. Invest in yeah. teams, not in tokens. Exactly. That's what you got to do. Right now is you learn about the team and you invest in the team. Don't even worry about the token. I swear. If you do that, you'll you'll be all right. And you guys can see also with the NFT communities, which ones have uh, survived uh, this bear market? Who's still building? Who's still uh, around? Who's still active? Uh, and uh, we're actually proud that the AAA is, we find that we're still one of the most active NFT communities right now on uh, Cosmos. Um, obviously, uh, we have the Metawawa collection on Juno that we just uh, came out, which is pretty cool uh, on Passage. So uh, that's the collection that uh, we're aiming at uh, selling out. So right now, I think Superman, you said we're at 72%. 70, 71%. Better testing is next month, guys. And uh, uh, the, the MetaWawa collection, guys, is probably the cheapest way to enter the Passage ecosystem itself. And as you can see, they've had some big partnerships and they've been uh, working for like almost two, three years now on their project. So as you can see, these guys are serious. They've signed some big partnerships with some big uh, uh, names. So uh, we're really looking forward for the future. And guys, we're not going anywhere. We're going to keep building. We're uh, going to release the apps for the Tory Punks uh, uh, next month. So that's advancing as well. Our roadmaps for most of the collections are complete. So uh, yeah, we're excited for for the Tory Punks for sure now because they uh, they need some love right now, and uh, these games are going to be a lot of fun. So now you guys are going to have the lotteries on the fifteenth. We're going to have the Russian Roulette on the fifteenth. We've got the early Punks game on the seventh. We've got uh, the Cyber Wawa lotteries on the twenty fifth of each month. So uh, every month you guys are, are in for some uh, some cool prizes. So if you guys don't have uh, any questions, we're going to go straight to the voice channel. I'm going to share my screen and we'll uh, we'll do the draw for the, the, the premium and zombie lotto. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, GJ, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, it was great to, to hear about the projects and uh, I'll uh, definitely come and take a look inside of your Discord to uh, get to know a bit more and maybe uh, go mint a couple of uh, skeleton punks. <laughs> Oh, you, they're 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 minted now, but you could buy them on secondary marketplace. Secondary, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but um, thank you for having me. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, you know, I'm I'm pretty reachable. So thanks just a lot, check man. in. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks a lot, Bye. Bye. Take care. Move channel, uh, voice channel, guys, for the the lottery.